The Premier League is once again just around the corner and what better way to hype up this season coming up than to rank each Premier League team's home kit for the 2024-2025 season. We got some absolute bangers. Oh my god! Wow! And then we got some stinkers going on. What? the hell is even that i'm gonna be brutally honest just to let you know so if you support a team and i put your jersey down at stinky the game is the game don't come at me i'm not coming at the team i'm just coming at the design blame the designer blame puma adidas nike don't don't blame me don't blame me now this is coming from an outsider point of view an innocent bystander obviously you guys know who i support by now uh, yeah, so th there ain't no bias going on here. Now, at the time that I am recording this, there are two kits so far that aren't official. Um, hopefully, they are the official kits and they don't change overnight. Let me know if you guys want to see the away kits. I want to do a tier list for that too because there are some absolute bangers as well in there. And then I also want to grab the best kits overall this season for like the top leagues. You know, Premier League, uh, Serie A, La Liga, uh, Bundesliga. League on the French League, if you still consider that the top league, because now that Mbappe is gone, Messi's gone, Neymar is gone, they don't even have TV rights. Nobody wants to purchase their rights. Nobody wants it. Their fall off, it, it, it needs to be studied. I got nothing against them, but man, they something needs to happen because my god yeah so i want to grab the best kits overall grab them into one tier list put them into one tier list and then rank them so let me know if you guys want to see that yeah so one last thing before we get started i'm gonna start doing this in each and one of my videos just because why not just because i can i'm gonna give you guys my song of the day so each and every time i upload a video boom i'm gonna put you guys onto a song so let's start off strong let me know if you guys know this song in the comments the name of the song is called inner bloom by Ruffus the Soul. If you guys don't know, listen to it right now. Stop. I'm even telling you guys to pause the video and listen to it. That's how great it is. But without further ado, please leave a like, subscribe, comment, dislike, unsubscribe, do whatever you feel is right. Let's get into it. Ranking each and every team's home kit for the Premier League this season. Let's go. So this is how we're going to do things here. This is how I'm going to rank each kit. We got Stinker, Stinky. Pretty simple, straight to the point. It's just bad. That's it. Ugh. Mid, it's mid. You know, it, it's up there. You know, I'll give it some slack because maybe it's got like a nice design. It's got like a little, some stripes here and there, I guess. But yeah, mid is just okay, bad, but just not stinky. Decent. It's okay. It's right in the middle. It's good, but it's not at the top and it's not at the bottom. It's, an, it's a good kit. Top four, you know, it's one of the best. Not the best, but it's one of the best out there out of the 20 teams. And then winner, chicken dinner, there's only going to be one. There's no participation points. There, there's no second or third place because nobody cares about second and third. Now, there, there might be some hot takes here. You know, if I put your team at mid or stinker, don't take it personal. Let's go ahead and start off with Aston Villa. Nah, I'm just kidding. It, it, it's a joke just because, you know, they got the same colors. It, it, it's a joke. Don't take it too personal. It, West Ham. You know, they got the same colors. Come on, come on, come on now. Now, it's not that bad. Remember how I was talking about the stripes? But it, it, it's a good theme going on here. The stripes with the collar and then the edges over here of where the, the arms end off. Not bad, not bad. I like the baby blue. I like how the logo, everything is staying to that color. Except the one over here where it's like green or whatever. But it, it doesn't really matter. You look at the middle of the jersey and it looks good. The back, okay. You know, something simple, something light to start off. The top, what does it say? 1964, 1965. Probably when West Ham were created. It's good. It's good. I'm a... Uh, I'm gonna start off with decent. So let's do let's do a let's do this. Nine on forest. We got Adidas. Our first Adidas jersey. Um, yeah, I, it's red, red and white. The stripes over here in the shoulders, classic. You know, we got some like star shapes going on here in the middle. Uh, you know, the well, actually through the whole jersey. I do like this design right here. The kind of like darkish reddish. Not too bad. To have they'll have a back shot from the back. Pause. I don't have a bag, I, not as of yet right now. That, it's not bad. I'll put it at decent for now. Mind you, at the end, when, you know, all this is finished, I'll probably move up or down some of these kids. Uh, you know how it goes. You know how the tier list goes. What do we do? What do we do? Let's go Brighton next. I like the scheme that they got going on. You know, the blue and white stripes through the middle of the jersey. And then you go to the shoulders and arms. And it's just pure white with, uh, with the blue edges. Nike, you know, you got the sponsor in the middle. The back. They continue with the stripes. I don't know if I like the bottom here, but what I did notice my first time looking at this kit, if you take a peep at the sides here, 
Now, I don't know. I might be tripping. I, I might just be overdoing it here. But it's kind of got like that golden yellowish type of like line going through it. What that reminds me, if you take a look at their logo, the beak of the bird that they have going on here, that's the vibes it's giving me. It looks nice. It's unique. It's different. Something simple, but it does the job. I'm going to put this in the middle of West Ham and uh, not in a forest. Now let's do let's do the Saints. Southampton are back in the Premier League with their red and white stripes. The classic. It looks good with the black collar and then again the, the black edges of, of where the arms end off. It's good. I like the color theme. Uh, the logo Puma. Uh, I want to take a look at the back here. Let me see. Yeah. Oh. 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 You know I, I like the shapes like the pattern stripes and then look at the arm. You know what that arm just gave it like two plus points it's something basic and simple but i like that from the back i like that and then of course the pattern that they got going on with the shapes that's not too shabby do i put it in the middle of west ham and brighton or in the middle of brighton not enough because of the back i'm actually gonna put it right here i really like the back the back shots are, are just incredible what do you mean by that Let's go with uh, the Minnesota Timberwolves. I'm just kidding. It, it, it's it's wolves. Sorry. I don't find you funny. All right, no disrespect. Uh, yeah, we got the yellow and black, black and yellow. You know, it's a great color theme. Uh, the logo in the middle is it, just perfect. The logo from Wolves, I really do like. I think it's one of the better looking logos out there in the Prem and just in general in football. We got the sponsor. We got the stripes with the collar and the edge of the shirt classic. And you look a little, uh, then you zoom in and it's got some like shape design pattern kind of looks like they're, they're the shape surrounding the wolf if you really take a look at it and you look deep it's okay let me see the back yeah I, I like the the one pack here you know wolf pack uh yeah yeah it's not much to it though i like the simplicity sometimes simple is just perfect enough because sometimes these kids they, they try to overdo it and add some crazy design and it just ain't it you gotta appreciate the simple stuff sometimes you know what i mean but i wouldn't really purchase this i'm not gonna lie i'll put it at the end of decent for now it might change i don't know let's do bournemouth now this is one of those leaked jerseys that i was talking about it's not official uh hopefully this is this is gonna be the the official released one uh because if not well then yeah it, it's gonna completely change this but if it is we're just ranking what we see here in front of me it's not bad you know we got the red and black you know the cherries uh color going on here there's like some like golden lines brownish lines like splitting the colors uh in the jersey i don't know if i like that i kind of do but i don't you're gonna have the sponsor right in the middle they don't have it yet hmm it's not i like the color theme the red and black it, it is nice but i'll pu i'll put it ahead of wolves it's not great it's okay it's okay all right let's switch it up a bit i think I i'm literally adding everything at decent yeah yeah I i'm gonna be more strict here newcastle newcastle i like the colors man i've always liked the black and white i feel like it fits perfectly it's adidas i love adidas uh again it, it, you know you got the stripes going on the collar you know the shoulders it's great it looks like the texture of the jersey itself is a little better yeah it's it's good the logo it's just perfect i really like newcastle's logo so you know what i think we got our top our first top four yeah again black and white it just does it for me it really does yeah, we'll, we'll put that in top four yeah let's go for that let's get into a uh a hot one here a spicy one spurs listen i love me some sonaldo some madison you know but this jersey is just too simple for me they tried to go for some stripes here not really a fan of it you know they got the white the dark blue it's okay the color i don't really like the sponsor right in the middle just red boom i don't know trying to catch my attention it does the opposite of that the sides though it saves it a little bit i like the stripe it matches with the arm part of the jersey but i don't think it saves it enough and i think we might have our first mid i'm not gonna lie again i love me some sonaldo but it doesn't do it for me you know what i might even put Bournemouth down here too and then spurs i i don't there's not much to it i it just doesn't catch my attention i'm sorry uh let's go ahead and do everton next now you know the sponsor is a betting site you know let, let, let's not really pay too much attention to what the sponsor actually is uh first glance i thought it was mid i'm not gonna lie but you zoom in and it's got 
an okay design going got like some buttons going on here it, it's okay you know you you got the stripes here in the collar the back let me take a look at the back yeah you know you're gonna have the name the number it's simple i like the design i feel like it should have continued through with the the arm part of the jersey though so i'm gonna put it before i'm ah. I'll put it between Southampton and uh, Brighton because, again, of the design that it's got going on. If it was just plain blue, it probably would have been at mid, bottom mid or stinker. I'm not going to lie. But that design, it it saves it. It gives it uh, that little push. That, uh. Now, guys, this is sad. This is this is a sad moment. We got Leicester. They're back in the Premier League. It's great to see them. We're going to have Vardy back in the Prem. That's that's always a great sign. You know, Vardy is an absolute legend. But the kit, Adidas, you disappointed me here. I, I, I don't know. You know, you got the stripes in the shoulder again. You know, you're classic. You know, you got that like orangey, yellowish color going on around the collar for the fox that's okay that's a nice detail sides it looks like it, it's like the everton trying to go for some design oh it's okay but i'm not a fan it's simple lester i'm sorry you know you guys are one of the teams that i do like from the prem but this this the home kit at least they have a great run for the away kits just this season for the home kit. Yeah, it's, it's not. It doesn't do anything special for me. So I think we might have our first stinker. Uh, Aston Villa. This is the last unofficial leaked jersey here at the time that I'm recording it. Plastic Adidas. You got the stripes going on through the shoulder. You know, the collar with the stripes. Yeah, I yeah, know. The, the, the classic. I don't have the back shots from here, so, but I'm assuming it's going to follow that theme. Yeah, I mean, the logo, the sponsor. Uh, they are in the Champions League, so it's going to be nice to see them in the Champions League. I'll put that after Everton. Let's do let's do Brentford next. Now, this is good. This is good. I like the red and white with the red and black going on through the shoulder into the arm area. I do I like how it fades from red to black at the bottom of the jersey. It definitely adds a little bit of, of the uniqueness to it. The back, you know, it follows that theme. You got the bees. It's really good, actually. I don't mind it. I'll put that for now ahead of everybody in decent. Might go up a little bit. I don't know just yet. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I'm saving, you know, the top teams for last because there might be one stinky there and there might be, you know, some hot takes going on. But let's do Fulham. Fulham. I think the first good adidas jersey in the premier league for this season i do like it you know it's simple but i do like the collar i like that something different that we've yet to see in this season for these kits the red stripes over here at the bottom of the jersey the logo for the sponsor you know it's not too like it's not an eyesore in the back yeah this is a perfect example of when simplicity actually works so i'm gonna put that behind brentford that's good for now maybe at the end i might i might move it let's do manchester city here we go oh boy oh boy manchester city i'm gonna start off by saying i like the color baby blue is is a top color in my opinion with the white it looks like the collar and then the edge of the of, you know where the arm part ends it's got like some 016 i think that is like the, the 0161 okay the aerial code i think like representing where they're from and, and having that you know th this is us this is what we represent as a team this is our area we are manchester city type of vibe it, it's okay you know it, it's nice it's unique but it just it, it is it top four though it's gonna be a hot take but is it top four for now i'll put it at top four because we got some pretty good kits coming up i think newcastle is still better yeah we'll leave it there for now city fans don't attack me i'm sorry just that it, i'm going at your jersey not the team you know what let's go ahead and do it why not we talked about manchester city let's talk about manchester united all right <laughs> adidas i like how it slowly fades to that darker red got some type of like orange like fiery orange at the side of the jersey the classic shoulder stripes for adidas they gotta switch that up they gotta do something back Ooh, the back oh we like the back don't we yeah because the pattern continues from the side the stripe that i was talking about like that fiery orange reddish type of stripe i like that actually though that the back saves it you know what saves it for manchester city is that 0161 you know the area code i guess that's what that is if it isn't then i'm tripping and i'm sorry oh man here we go i'm gonna say it i'm gonna say it and i'm gonna do it oh boy yeah come at me 
no no don't come at me come at the designer I i'm just an innocent bystander here guys now all right please be easy with me the jersey it looks good it looks good let's just let's go ahead and move on before i say something that i shouldn't eep switch eep switch oh this is this it's starting to get tough now believe it or not i really do like this kit i mean blue is one of my favorite colors i do have lester all the way at stinker i'm sorry lester but it, 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 does, it doesn't do, it doesn't do it i mean it doesn't do it for me but this one though is different it's got the white stripes the logo i don't know if you guys have noticed but it's got like a built in the shape and then the logo inside of it i like that a lot the sponsorship i do like that you know quick maths and then of course you know the collar and then you have the edge of the arm area with the darker blue adds a lot to this jersey and then we take a look at the back let me know what the three stars uh mean at the top of the jersey here i i i don't really know the history or the lore for ape switch in the comments please let me know I'm, I'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it this is gonna be tough but i'm gonna put ape switch ahead of newcastle yes sir the built-in like shape for the logo that works for me um Chelsea. I'm gonna do Chelsea next. Speed, I'm watching the stream. Why are you trying not to laugh, bro? That's disrespectful as shit. Now, I really did like their home kit for last season. I was actually waiting for this season to purchase that home kit just so it could be a little cheaper because I really did like it. This design, Nike, this wave, watery effect they got going on doesn't work for me it's different i don't know if there's like a backstory to it i don't like it man i don't like it chelsea again i'm gonna purchase your home kit for last season this one man i i'm i'm daring even to put it at stinky <laughs> honestly no i mean in that case and then tottenham and bournemouth gotta go down there too because at least this one they have some type of like design and whatnot but sometimes trying to go for some crazy design doesn't work and in my opinion this is one of those cases oh man this is tough i'm gonna put it at the top of mid it might drop down but then i had to drop spurs and bournemouth who knows i i, I we'll, we'll talk about it more at the end but we got three more to go let's do let's do liverpool this is not bad we got the shapes with the lines the design the pattern i do like their logo the crest it's really nice the collar it does it for me, man. I like this collar. The side with the yellow and uh, white. Okay. Back. It follows the theme. 97. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's it's good, man. The collar saves it, in my opinion. I know a lot of... It, it, it's controversial. The collar is controversial. When you have that type of collar, is it top four? If it's top four, I'm going to knock... I'm going to do this. If it's top four, I'm knocking down Man City. They're relegating to decent. City, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Ah, uh, for now, for now, for now. Arsenal, 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 Arsenal. Adidas, classic. You already know I'm not even going to say it because you already know what I'm going to talk about. Blue, red, white. Got the bluish here at the bottom of the jersey. It's okay. It In this case, it doesn't really fit in my opinion. The back, it's all right. It's all right. I do like the red and white. The blue, though, I don't know. It was just like they just wanted to add something to it. You know, I felt like it was just like a last moment. Boom. Just plaster it in there. Let's just do something. I think I, I know last season they had like some like gold type of color taking over the blue. Now it's blue this season. Adidas, Adidas, Adidas. I don't know, man. It, it could do a lot better. I'll put... I'll put it behind City. I like Cities because, again, baby blue, it's got a nice, you know, it's got a soft spot in my heart. And then just because of the meaning of, of 0161, I think it was. Crystal Palace, last but not least, you guys were wondering if we were going to have a winner chicken dinner. Crystal Palace is known for their kits and for a lot of things as well. Their kits every season to me, there's, oh, they're a thing of beauty. It's a stinky for me. Nah, nah, nah. It's a winter chicken dinner. It's just a thing of beauty. It's cinema. It's got the logo going through the jersey. As you can see, then you got the red, like splat splattery paint type of design going along the jersey. You know, it's not just in the middle. No, it goes through the shoulders and the, 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 like, it's just perfect. It is well done. I don't like the sponsor. It's right there. But again, it just goes through the back. It doesn't like it doesn't cut off at the bottom of the back or in the shoulders or arm area. No, it just it's fully through, which is top to bottom. Boom. No, and then at the top, it's got Selhurst Park 1924. 
you know, it's got their home court name, the stadium of the name behind their jersey. That right there is how you make a jersey. It's not too much and it's not just too simple. This right here is the top dog. Crystal Palace, you have outdone yourself. It's beautiful. It, it, that, that's all I got to say. Yeah, this is my tier list. Lester, I'm sorry, but I got you as stinky. And I don't think you're moving. Um, I'm trying to look through the rest of the lineup here I'm trying to see if i i move one back or forward or relegated or promote it i'm moving fulham forward Bournemouth stays west ham stays southampton stays everton it stays i guess you know and that's some that that's a great example of simplicity and how it works aston villa brighton nine on forest wolves chelsea tottenham bournemouth i just <laughs> that, that I don't know, man. I'm looking at Chelsea's and it's like, I, I kind of want to put Chelsea at decent, but at the same time, I want to put it at stinky. I'll leave it there. Let me know what you guys think of Chelsea's home kit. And then the top four, Ipswich, Newcastle, Liverpool, and United. I like that. This is a great lineup. Crystal Palace at the top. This is a great lineup. Let me know then in the comments right now what team you support in the Premier League. What do you think about this tier list? Is it pretty shit or, or is it? Uh, I think it's good. It's good. It's got to be good. It's got to be one of the best ones you've seen, right, guys? Right? It, it's top top tier list right here yeah hopefully you guys did enjoy like i said earlier please leave a like subscribe unsubscribe dislike do whatever you feel is right the premier league is just around the corner i'm excited for it we got some good looking kids we got some bad looking kids i'm excited to see these in action i'm out of here please take care of yourself peace and love be easy